The parents in Durham are preparing for another tough day at the bus stop, and this has nothing to do with the weather. Today, more than 50 bus drivers and 40 other school employees did not show up for work. Tomorrow, the situation is expected to get worse. The problem stems from a salary dispute after some school employees found out their pay raises would be cut. Tonight, the school system sent out a message to parents to they should find other ways to get their children to school if these buses remain parked. WR's Willie Danley joins us live from Durham. And Willie, parents are worried that this could last for a while. Yes, Gerald, tonight a lot of parents and staff members have voiced their frustration now that the students are being impacted by the district's move to reevaluate the salaries. Last week, the district notified employees that some salaries would be lowered after the school system says some staff members were overpaid. Our students are going to be continuously impacted if we don't take our education, our kids' education seriously. Today, Durham Public Schools requested that parents pick up and drop off students due to the ongoing driver shortage. Avis Langley is a DPS bus driver who's not going on strike. They were given um, raises and bonuses that are being taken back because they said they were overpaid or their raises were too high. Langley tells WREL that school staff work a lot and should be compensated fairly, which is why certain employees are striking. Supervisors. The bus mechanics, um, cafeteria staff, we have some housekeepers, um, classified staff, which is like office personnel, and some assistant teachers. Langley says all these jobs are crucial for schools to run properly. As a driver, uh, without mechanics, legally our buses aren't supposed to, to move. And without supervisors, how do you know what you're supposed to do? Turquoise Parker, the media coordinator at Lakewood Elementary School, tells me that the pay issue isn't just impacting staff. It's hurting the students. They're missing some important instruction. They're missing breakfast and lunch. And they're missing an opportunity to be around their peers. Durham Public Schools superintendent apologized to employees and said he and other leaders are working to solve this problem. I just got off the phone with an instructional assistant with Durham Public Schools, and he told me that he and other staff members will be meeting at the Staff Development Center tomorrow morning to voice their frustrations in person. In Durham, Willie Danley, WRL News. All right, Willie Danley reporting live for us in Durham. Thank you. Now for the very latest on the impacts of the bus driver shortage in Durham, be sure to wake up with our morning news beginning at 430.